Welcome back, everybody. Man, oh man, just look at this Ceanothus shrub. Probably should have waited to make my Ceanothus video for a couple more days. It has just gotten more beautiful. The bees are enjoying these flowers. Just gorgeous. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. I've got an update video for you in regards to some seeds that I had started in my mini outdoor greenhouse that I built about a month and a half ago, mid-February. I planted out some hollyhock seeds. Now I've shared with you in the past why I love the hollyhock so much. Because the entire plant has edible uses. The leaves especially, but the roots, the flowers, the stems, everything can be enjoyed and we have been consuming some of the leaves as of late. Here's one of those hollyhocks that we have that's perennialized in the garden. These leaves are all beautiful and healthy. These plants will be flowering soon. And here are some more hollyhocks and you can't even tell that we've been harvesting leaves off of them. They keep flushing out an abundance of these leaves. We like to use them as part of a green mix. So just pick different random edible greens and use them in our dishes. And this one is getting really close to flowering. Eventually, this plant right now is about three and a half feet. It's gonna get about six feet tall. And here's a couple more that perennialized in the garden with a backdrop of rosemary, wonderful culinary herb, which is in flower at the moment. But there are many different varieties of hollyhock and they range in size and color. But some of these plants are now ready to be transplanted. Even though they look small, I was looking at it earlier and you can see how the roots are now starting to poke out of the drainage slit there. And that's when you know that these are ready for transplant or to be up potted. So let's take this one out of the pot and see what the roots look like. So we got some beautiful roots on these seedlings. And a couple different plants here. Anywhere you feel like you could use a splash of color or a little bit of dimension in the garden is a wonderful spot to plug in some hollyhock. I think perhaps over here by the pomegranate tree, we've got a little opening right down in here. Use the good old hori hori. Take a little piece of soil out here. Just loosening up a nice decent area here for those roots to run, but mainly the hollyhock dives down. It's got a deep tap root. Which means that it's able to mine up minerals deeper down into the soil where other plants roots aren't able to reach. And for that reason, it's a healthy plant to consume. And it's also a wonderful plant to produce some chop and drop in the garden as the foliage is going to contain some of those minerals that it mines from deep down. And so when you chop it and drop it as a mulch around your plants, you bring those minerals towards the surface. And as they break down, they will then feed the upper layers of your soil. Now, because these plants are so small, it's good to protect them as they're susceptible to pest damage and damage from the ladies who have their eyes on me at the moment. Anytime I'm stirring up the soil, they figure that there's something good or maybe there's some bugs running around. And a plant protection cage can really be made out of just about anything. But if you can get your hands on some of this cheap fencing material, they sell them in rolls at the big box stores, the hardware stores. You can make a whole bunch of these cages and then in the off season just put it along the fence somewhere out of the way 
but these are wonderful. Not only can you use them to protect your little plants that are getting going, but you can also drape some shade cloth around here if you need to, or some row cover. And that's all there is to it. I'm gonna have fun now for the next half an hour while I still got some daylight and plant out a few more of these, just dotting the landscape with the wonderful, useful hollyhock flower. If you're not growing some already, I'd encourage you to look into it and start growing some today. So with that, I wanna thank you all for watching. Have yourself a good one. Until next time, this is Dan from plantabundance.com. Take care, I'll be talking to you again soon.